It's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I am going to be participating in the um, Virtual Homeschool Co-op Summer 2016 tag. Now, I found this through um, Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer on YouTube and she actually participated in the tag and Apparently, you do not have to be an actual member of the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. That is something that I want to do, but I'm probably not going to be able to join until this fall when they start everything over, just because I don't have time to catch up from um, when they originally started a few months ago. Anyway, I will be linking to uh, Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer, so that way you can go and check her out and see how she answered these questions about summer homeschooling. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. If you want to participate, remember you do not have to be a regular um, member of the Virtual Homeschool Co-op, but you do need to link in your video to, uh, you would need to link to me if you found out about it through me and you wanted to participate. So. Um, I will also be linking to the Virtual Homeschool Co-op if I didn't already say that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first question for the Homeschool Summer 2016 tag is, do you do any school curriculum over the summer? So, my oldest child is about to finish first grade. I had a baby during his kindergarten school year, and I had a baby just in April, so during his first grade school year. And originally I had planned to take summers off, but with those big life changes, we do end up schooling into the summer. Luckily with kindergarten, I actually started him early um, on my father's world kindergarten and we did it over two years. So I was able to get his kindergarten finished, I think we finished in April of that year. Now, with first grade, I waited and I started in late August of last year, and um, we will be finishing in the middle of July. So, we took several weeks off during my last pregnancy because I was pretty sick and unmotivated, but that's okay, and that's, you know, that's the beauty of homeschooling is that you can take time off as needed, and while right now we're not really in the school mode, he's ready to be done, I'm ready to be done with it. Um, we're still trucking along and he is almost done, thankfully. So, second question. Do you have a set date for the start and stop of summer? So like I just said, we pretty much school along when the way life goes. Um, I do prefer to start late August, early September, and then in, in May or June. And that's my plan for next year. Um, we're actually going to start in September after Labor Day, and then we will be done in June. I haven't totally planned out all of our weeks yet, but um, that's going to be the plan. Number three, do you have any traditions for the end of school? Okay, last year we didn't really do anything because we were getting ready to move after we finished school. This year, since I didn't do anything big for him finishing kindergarten, we are going to do sort of a little celebration for him finishing first grade and for my daughter finishing pre-K. So we're all going to get together and I'm going to do kind of like a little graduation thing. Um, in years after this year, I don't think we're going to do a big celebration. I mean, we might have a special dinner or something like that, but that's probably about it. Um, number four, do you keep a schedule during the summer? Is it the same as during the school year? So right now, <laughs> our schedule is the same as it was during the school year, except I, I have five kids, so um, we have a lot of interruptions, and we just sort of go with the flow. So I try to get schoolwork done sometime in mid-morning um, to mid-afternoon, Sometimes it doesn't work that way. You know, we just, we do what we have to do. We have appointments that we have to go to that come up. Seems like there's always something that comes up. So I don't stick to a strict schedule. Um, but 
we do try to get everything done in a day that we want to get done. So number five, are you going on vacation this summer? No, we are not going on vacation this summer. I just had a baby in April, like I said, so she's only a few months old. So we're just staying around home this summer. Number six, do you do any organized summer activities? Um, I wanted to do swimming lessons for the kids, but um, ended up deciding not to do them because it was just too much of a strain on me to be responsible for taking everybody there and then coming home with the baby, a newborn that's nursing frequently, and then I also have a one-year-old. So right now we're not doing any organized school activities or summer activities. We, we go visit family and we play outside in the sprinkler and we go swimming and I'm planning to take the kids to a museum one weekend this summer and also take them to see a movie. But as far as anything totally organized, no, we do not do that. Do you do a summer reading list or specified reading time? Yes. I actually did a video not too long ago on our summer read alouds. That's something that I keep up all throughout the year. Um, I usually have one chapter book going that I read to my kids. Um, my oldest is not totally an independent reader, so we're trying to get there with him. Our library has a summer reading program that we participate in, and we just go pick out books that he's interested in and that my um, five-year-old is interested in and we sit down and we usually have reading time every day. Number eight, do you have goals for summer? Do I have goals for summer? Not really. <laughs> um, just to get through the summer and I do my homeschool planning. I'm really excited to get into homeschool planning in the next couple of weeks and get ready for second grade and then my daughter's doing kindergarten and then my son who is three almost four is going to be doing preschool so I'm hoping to be much more organized um, in this coming year than I have been in previous years with all the new babies that have come into our lives so number nine what is your favorite part of summer um, getting fresh vegetables from our family's garden. We don't have a garden here where we where we live. We have, I do have like a little herb garden and my husband loves to do flowers. So we have little flower beds. We don't have like a big vegetable garden. And my kids actually help my parents plant their vegetable garden. So we've been getting some of that harvest and trying new recipes. Um, I don't really like the heat of summer, but, you know, just ha taking time to spend with family and um, Fourth of July is coming up and where we live, they're going to be doing a big uh, Fourth of July event, so that's going to be fun. We should be able to see fireworks from our house, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, that's about it with that. So the last question. Bedtimes, do they still exist? What about letting them sleep in? Right now, my kids are staying up much later than normal, um, but that's just because I'm usually handling the babies and then my husband is kind of just letting them stay up later. And what about letting them sleep in? I've always let my kids sleep as long as they want to sleep, but of course, they're all young. So everybody is up before 9 o'clock. Um, as they get older, that's probably going to change a little bit. But right now, I just I let them sleep as long as they want to sleep. Okay, so that's all the questions for the um, Homeschool Summer 2016 tag. Like I said, if you want to participate, you do not have to be a member of the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. But I would appreciate it if you would link to me. And you could also link to the Virtual Homeschool Co-op in the description box down below. Or you can pop a card up um, if you want to participate. So we'll see you next time. Bye.